USCIS prefers family reunification in EB green card categories. Even under the so-called employment-based EB green card categories, the U.S. immigration system supports family reunification. EB green cards are required for family members of immigrant workers under current interpretations of U.S. immigration law. Spouses and children of workers receive a green card that would have gone to a skilled worker instead of being granted under a different category. This ought to be altered without diminishing immigration based on family. 55% of EB green cards were awarded to workers' families in 2022. The remaining 45% went to the workers themselves. The percentages bear comparison to those of 2020 and 2021. This isn't a tidy de facto divide because some of the family members who obtained EB green cards are employed, and many of them are highly competent since skilled individuals frequently marry one another. Another point to consider is that, despite Congress's cap of $140,000 a year, the federal government issued 270,284 EB green cards in 2022 because immigration law permits individuals who have applied for EBs to use unused green cards in other categories, the government was able to issue more of these cards. Redistributing unused family-based green cards from 2021 helped applicants for EB green cards who were already in the country on other visas to change their status. In 2023, this procedure will transfer about 60,000 more family-based green cards to the EB green card categories. Immigration based on family is significant for ethical, social, and economic reasons. Congress should either exempt family members from the cap or create a new category specifically for them to ensure that the numerical cap on EB green cards does not impede family-based immigration. This will stop the same number of family members from being cut from the workforce. By doing this, without changing the cap number for that particular green card category, an extra 147,017 immigrant workers might have obtained a green card in 2022, representing a 120% increase.